What's good? It's your brother YK The Truth, and welcome to another episode of Silly Things Pretendians Say. Let's play the video. Peace, 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 y'all. So listen, um, at first I was not going to, I wasn't going to reply, but I wanted to use this comment as an example to you guys. If you know what you know, there is literally no point in going back and forth with anybody because again it is a waste of energy okay so it's a waste of energy to show the facts that you are an indian but it's not a waste of time to make a video so you have enough time to make a video but not address the facts this is what pretendians do this is a prime example so you know for our people that don't realize <laughs> that um, we are from the Americas and not from Africa, that is so sad. That is extremely sad because it has been highly, highly publicized, especially on if you're on this app. So TikTok proves that you're an Indian. So you get most of your information from TikTok to prove that you are an Indian, so you don't have no real geneticists. The bulk of African-Americans are descendants of enslaved Africans from West and Central Africa. Saying this, no real historians saying this. <laughs> I want you to try to find me wrong because I know you can't do it. You just got a bunch of silly black folks with a TikTok account. About to blow your mind. I'm about to show you the man that's actually responsible for killing the Indians off. As proof that you're an Indian? These are silly things pretendians say. You know what I'm saying? um you see it and not to mention you can talk to your folks and they will even tell you yeah we got indian we're we're part indian so on the sofa let me play it back pay attention to what she just said yeah we got indian we're we're part indian so we're we're part indian so I'm so if you're part indian what's the other part you know what I noticed about pretendians? They have no problem claiming their European ancestry, but they don't want nothing to do with the word Africa. Cause they ain't no different than me saying, yo, I probably, I got African in my blood. Mm. But that don't mean I have to claim African. But that don't mean I have to claim African. Let's play it again. We're part, so they always tell us, we're part this, or we have it in us. I just met these ladies out here in the park randomly. Um, how many of you? How many of y'all ever heard y'all had Indian in your family? Absolutely. Everybody yeah. heard that before, right? right? Who? Where did you hear it from? Who? Who was the person I told you? My grandmother. Ah. But when does having ancestry in you make you that person, or make you those people? If you're eighty percent West African and you're 2% indigenous, you are African. That's it. We got Indian, we're, we're part Indian, so on and so forth. We were the Indians. See, how did we get from we part to we were the Indians? You're confused. Okay, so, um, I just, I, I'm not going to try to give anybody a history lesson. You know why? Because you can't give anybody a history lesson because history doesn't agree with the pretendian fairy tale. History doesn't agree with your make-believe story. So you couldn't make a two-minute video giving us facts about how black people are Indian, you could only go on a rant. 
which means you're wasting time. But you would rather waste time doing this than sharing the evidence. Because it don't make sense. It's enough evidence out here for you to know that you're not from Africa. So if it was enough evidence, you would have showed some proof. But your evidence is grandma said in TikTok videos. This is what the pretending community is working with. Grandma said in TikTok videos. You probably don't even like the same food that uh, most Africans like. No, I do. I love the food. You see the hatred towards Africa. You know what I'm saying? All the vegetation, the bulk of the vegetation started here in the Americas. And it was all the bulk of the vegetation started here in America. Do I have to bring up the African rice? That's from Africa. And this is the traditional African rice, Mupunga as it's known locally, Ariza glabarima or brown rice. Uh, you would not see it by 1700 or certainly not by 1720 in South Carolina because sadly it was then supplanted by the Asian white rice, uh, Ariza sativa, which took over very, very quickly. It first, of course, found its way to the North American continent through slavery and the movement from Africa. Uh, but then when the Asian rice came in, it was supplanted sadly. But this is a plant with a very, very long history of commercialization. We know that it was cultivated in Mali at least three and a half thousand years ago, and it was probably more than that. But they did a genetic test on the rice and it goes back to West Africa. Was sent to places like Africa. So if, so if it was sent to places like Africa, who sent it? Where are those ships? See, y'all love to say people was taken from the Americas and brought to Africa and food was, where are those ships? You can't have your cake and eat it too. Get what I'm saying? America is what can feed the nations. What people don't understand is how rich of a continent Africa really is. They don't need your food. They don't need your energy. They don't need your gold. They don't need your diamonds. They don't need your coal. They don't need your uranium. They don't need your platinum. They don't need nothing. They don't need your oil. You, they ain't got to import nothing, but they've been over there just raped. Colonialization, the, the Dutch, the Portuguese, the Spanish, the French, the Chinese, they just over there just raping them, man. Resources. Even though they're trying to kill our food supplies and so on. Anyway, that's a whole nother topic. Let me. Yeah, that's a whole nother conspiracy theory that you about to drift off into. Because as you know, most pretendians are conspiracy theorists. So you're going to see a, a flat head or somebody who believes the earth is flat. That's a pretendian. You're going to see somebody that's a pretendian believe in reptilians. You're going to see somebody that's a pretendian believe in all of the hoax. You're going to see conspiracy theories in these pretendians because in order to be a pretendian, it has to be a conspiracy. It has to be some type of secret plot by the government. It has to be NASA. You got to create a boogeyman. No conspiracy can exist without a boogeyman, a secret plot, without Fauci, without NASA, without Walter Plecker, without the school. And this is a, this is proof that being a pretendian is just another conspiracy theory. Let me wrap it up, okay? Yeah, wrap it up, because you said a bunch of nothing. Nothing. You could have took those two minutes to show you was an Indian, but you didn't. 
Um, all right. But anyway, this is the example, you guys. Don't waste your energy on. And don't ever listen to nobody to tell you don't waste your energy on facts and information. Because the first way to, uh, to deny something is to avoid it. is to avoid any information that goes against what you believe. It's to avoid it. Nobody wants to hear the truth. That's why the messenger always get it the worst. Before you speak, Persian, know that in Sparta, everyone, even a king's messenger, is held accountable for the words of his voice. This is Sparta! <laughs> The messenger gets it worse than the person who actually calls the event. Because that's how much people don't want to believe things. The first key is to not hear it. Because if you don't hear something, then you won't have to think and then cognitive dissonance will not kick in. So it's your brother YK The Truth and I'm out. Peace.